I'm Stephanie Kuzidam of Cleveland.com, and welcome to another girls basketball poll video. Um, probably looks a little different than the studio. We're out at the Solon Rec Center with Nathaniel Klein and the Solon girls basketball team behind us. They are playing with some special needs kids tonight in a game, um, just bringing about some fun. And we decided we'll have a little fun too. So we're gonna go through the top 25 a little bit. Who's new, who dropped out, who moved? So you wanna start off with who's the new number one? Well, I guess the big question is the big question is who is number one, and that's actually North Royalton. That's probably gonna be maybe a surprise for some people uh, considering the teams that we had in the top five, but North Royalton, you know, they've been kind of hanging in there in some of the games, and you know, North Royalton's right now undefeated 3-0 right now, and uh, yeah, after coming off a win, 40-36 to again, to Stowe. So then um, you want to go with who dropped out of the poll? Right. Uh, probably the first one is probably Brexville. Uh, you know, they struggled in the first couple of weeks. I think they ended up 1-3 uh, and three so far uh, on the uh, season. Uh, but, you know, Brexville was one of the teams that fell out. And obviously, you know, some teams kind of moved in, which would probably be uh, an interesting read for some people. So the team that moved in is Gilmore. They are 4-0. Oh. They moved in at number 22. Why did they move into the poll? Well, yeah, uh, the Gilmore five and zero. I mean, they 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 actually, you know, they really, uh, you know, they, they, you know, a lot of talk was about Gilmore about coming back this year. Um, but Gilmore, you know, they they've got some sleepers right now. And just when we were talking in our podcast last Thursday, they've got some folks coming in uh, probably around the break time. And it's going to be pretty interesting. The, the, the scary thing is that they're actually going to get better, and uh, you know, we're going to see what happens. But right now, they're ranked at number twenty-two. And we're going to see where they go from there. And then, who is the biggest mover of the week? Uh, I'd probably say Hathaway Brown. Hathaway Brown moved up in after they defeated Magnificat. It was an interesting week last week. Yeah. Uh, Magnificat came down here to Solon, beat the number tw number one team who Solon was. They, Solon has actually moved down to number three. Magnificat takes the spot in number two. But Hathaway Brown uh, goes in the weekend and just meets Magnificat. Uh, so, you know, Hathaway Brown moves up to uh, number 14, uh, three and two record right now. They face some uh, tough opponents in, in Northeast Ohio. Well, actually in Ohio altogether. Uh, a couple of Canton teams, Glen Oaks and so forth. But, um, you know, Hathaway Brown's new in there, Gilmore's in there now, and like I said, North Royalton's the new team at number one. All right, and then who are our bubble teams? Uh, the bubble teams, uh, you know, want to kind of get into that. Uh, Holy Name, uh, St. Joseph Academy, uh, Shaker Heights. Shaker Heights has actually been kind of a team that, you know, a lot of people, they've been hearing little tidbits about, and they've been kind of hanging around in their games, but they're another team on the bubble. We're going to kind of see how they uh, act, uh, you know, over the course of a couple of weeks here. Also, uh, Villa Angel St. Joseph and also Hawken. And Hawken, uh, actually, uh, we're going to have their coach on for the Thursday podcast uh, to speak with us about uh, their season. All right, well, it was definitely a crazy week in girls' basketball. A ton of upsets really kind of shook up our poll, left us a little, having a little fun with the top 25, having fun with the Solon girls' basketball team. So stick with us every week for your latest girls' basketball poll. We will still be doing one over the holidays. Thanks for watching.